but not to prosper on them. All this has to... It's very surprising that we are not bothered at all as to what we are doing. Yeah, you have to have proper sense of understanding. Where are we going? If you have misunderstanding about somebody, better take it out completely. They try to trouble you, all right, but don't have bad understanding about that person. Very surprising that we never see those things, how ugly they are and how funny they are, how they ruin our personality. You may be able to correct some people, All our activities as Sahaja Yogis, I never realized were so important. We have to give so much time. Not to bother about nonsensical, frivolous things, but something serious that is within us or without. That must be taken out. If I ask you how many people you hate, you may hate just twenty people. And See, the thing, whole atmosphere and all this fills me with such remorse that I just don't know what are we going to do with the surge of this. What are their plans? Will you please look, look into yourself and think what constructive work we are doing and what destructive work we have been doing. You need a big shock to understand this. I like the way we have programs and pujas and all that. But if you ask my inner being, I know it is very, very unhappy, very sick. At this time, what you have to do as surgeon? As surgeon, minimum of minimum, you should put full attention. And then you have to take up a prayer. See, the trouble with Sahaja Yoga is that you all start enjoying yourself and then you don't see around what is happening. 
Now I must tell you, I am now in the midst of war between myth Is it a area? Is it a I don't know what should I say? Is it within us there is still lurking some kind of a weakness that we do not try to fight? I would now request you all to meditate on yourself and see for yourself what is wrong. It's a big shock. And to reduce this shock, what can Sahaja Yogis do? What can they work it to blast this horrible ways of human life. It's possible with the power of love you can manage, but we must develop that power in our hearts. Think of it. It's a big lesson now for all of us to see for ourselves, are we all right or we go on hating others? What is the function of our mind? Is to hate or to love? And this love, if it enlightens you, You'll be amazed, you'll be such a big force for me. I cannot fight the whole thing alone. And I have to have people who really develop their love and nothing else. That is one of the challenges now for all us all of us, all the Sajogis, all over the world. It's not only the fight between believers and non-believers, not only the fight between Sajogis and non-Sajogis, but this is a fight where we are all one and we are going to fight it out. At every stage we have to be much more subtler. It is very, very essential to see to the point today, are we also part and parcel of that evil thing that's working out? Or are we free from that and prepared to fight it? It's a big fight and I hope it is conclusive. After this, there will be no more of 
cruelties to human beings. No more fights. Because this is a fight between the Rakshasas and ourselves. It's not ordinary. And this has to be explained also to those who are supportive of evil forces. Only thing you can say, Mother, how are we to know who is against and who is not? We are knowledgeable. We are surgeons. You know who is on the wrong side. I know surgeons can save and can bring them to the right path of knowledge and love. But be very careful with the propaganda of evil that is going on. I want to touch the deepest part of your heart. We should reconcile I'm sure you all will understand the magnitude of danger that awaits. Maybe there may not be any human beings left, maybe there may not be any children left, because if this kind of thing is working out, very difficult, very difficult. My whole existence gets shaken, gets shaken up. You all should see in every nook and corner of life, where is this talk going on? Where are people talking of cruelty? What's happening? No. Whatever I think, uh, it's not one, it's not two, it's all of us. The fight that I am having is of a serious nature, no doubt. But if you all can fight collectively, how much we can work it out. My all efforts, understandings, powers, everything is now in your hands. And that's what you should be prepared for. Not by just reading something or talking about. You have to build up within yourself the power of love. I'm sure 
with the opening of the Sastrara you will do. But try to read something, to understand something with the power of love. It's a very deep subject and when you talk about it, halfway I'm inside, halfway outside. But I have to tell you that you all develop this and only that will form a very strong opposition to these the evil doers, as they call it. My complete blessings are on you. And I want all of you individually work it out. How many people you know? How many people? This you have to find out. I hope you people have understood what I want you to do. A new generation is coming up. All of you, all of you are in my heart and I love you very much and I want you people to come as soldiers to fight with me. I'm also told that there are some people who are forming groups and this. Extremely negative attitude. At this time, what we need is a complete solidarity. So all such people whom you see, tell them to behave themselves. No use making them surge of this. I'm sure it's really heartfelt desire of mine that you should become really soldiers of love and peace because that is why you are here. You are born here for that. So enjoy yourself.